when you're just getting started in your photo or your video business, do you really need a website? I'll be answering that question in today's video. So let's just jump into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Jonathan Moore. I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and a creative entrepreneur. And I like to make videos like these for other creative entrepreneurs who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live. So if that sounds like something that you're into, feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and even consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering the question on whether or not you really need a website when you're just starting your photography and or your video business. Now this could be a topic of debate depending on who you're asking, but if you're asking me, my answer is simply, well, it depends. Are you just getting started or are you already established? So for all my people out there who are just getting started, my answer is simply no. And when I say just getting started, I mean, basically you're just getting started, right? You're not sure if you wanna do this for a long time. You're just kind of dipping your toes in the water. You like doing photography and or video as a hobby, but you're thinking about turning it into a business and you're just not sure and you're just starting out. You don't really have brand recognition. You don't have a lot of clientele. And if that's the case, then my answer is simply no. You don't need a website to get started. And here's my reasons why. For starters, setting up a website can be a bit of a tedious task. And if you don't have a lot of work or you don't have a really well established portfolio, it could seem kind of like a daunting task to try to get your website filled up with work that people can come and they can view. Also, when you're just getting started, you don't have a lot of money coming into the door. So the best thing you can do is utilize free platforms like social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Platforms like this are really great when you're just getting started and you're just trying to build up your clientele and get your name out there. Social media is great when you're just getting started because at this point in time, you don't really have a big reputation. You don't have a lot of clientele. You might not have a lot of work in your portfolio. So it lets you kind of just build as you go. It's free and it gives you exposure. It gives you a place to point people to and it allows with them to engage with you. So people can reach out to you if they end up liking your work, whether they send you a message or they DM you. Also, you can see what people are commenting under your pictures and it gives you an idea of what people like and what they respond to more so than others. This is also great if you're figuring out what kind of niche or genre of photos or videos you wanna do because when you're just getting started, chances are you're gonna be in what I call the odd job phase, which is basically if you're trying to turn this into some type of business, usually you're taking whatever jobs are paying. One weekend, that could be a wedding. The next weekend, it could be a bat mitzvah. The next weekend, it could be family portraits. After that, it could be headshots or portraits for you know sports or whatever the case may be. So during the odd job phase, you're just gonna get an idea of what it is that you really like, the type of work that you really gravitate towards, and you'll start to figure out what type of jobs and clientele you really wanna start going after. And the best part of all of this is that it's free. And keep in mind, like I said, when you're just starting out, usually you have a smaller clientele. You're not working with businesses or corporations. Usually you're just working with friends and family. So if you don't have a professional website, it's not gonna turn them off. They'll be able to see your work. They're used to being on these platforms and checking out other people's work that way. And it's a great place to engage. So when just getting started, Stick to social media. You don't need the website right away. You don't need to start spending the money on it until you start bringing money in the door. Now for the second part of this, if you're progressing in your business and you've decided that, hey, this is something that I think could be a legitimate full-time and or a side hustle, and you wanna take it to the next level, you wanna start going after bigger clients, at that point in time, I would suggest getting a website. I would say get the website when you have more recognition, you have a bigger portfolio, and you're ready to start bringing more legitimacy around what it is that you're doing, and it's not just a little side thing that you do for friends and family on the weekends. Now, once you've decided that you're really gonna take this to the next level, you wanna bring more legitimacy around yourself, when you go to build your website, you're probably gonna have a body of work, you're gonna have a portfolio, and you're gonna know the type of jobs and clients that you wanna go after. Essentially, you're gonna have a better idea of yourself. 
So when you go and you build your website, you're probably gonna build it to market towards the type of clientele that you want. Now, initially, this can be difficult, especially when you're just starting out because if you're still in the odd job phase, you're trying to be everything to everybody, which means that you're nothing to nobody, sadly to say. You don't want somebody coming to your website and then it's like weddings and basketball games and you know sneakers and lifestyle and all these other things, right? Now, sometimes that works, sometimes, but usually you wanna to market to a specific audience. That doesn't mean you won't pick up the other jobs that you might want, but when it comes to building a body of work and having your portfolio on a website and your marketing behind that, you usually wanna to market to a specific audience. So whether that's clients for weddings, whether that's clients for social media, whether that's corporate headshots, you kinda of want your work to be focused around that one thing. Like I said, that won't stop you from getting those other jobs, but when you're known for something, people usually believe that you're better at that thing than you know somebody else who's just marketing for everything. Also, when you're putting together your website, this brings more legitimacy around you, right? It's like when people get a business and instead of it just being them, you know, they get an LLC because they want their business to appear more legitimate. A website can help you appear more legitimate because you know you have a body of work you're marketing to a specific audience but not only that when people come in they look at your work it's going to be of a higher resolution whether that's your videos or your photos because when you put your work onto social media so if you use a platform like instagram or facebook they scale down the resolution and it's at a low resolution you know format so when people come and see your work, and especially if you're going after bigger clients, you want them to be able to know that you can handle the work that they have and you can give them the quality of work that they're looking for. Now, when you're building up your website, what you're actually doing is you're building on your own piece of digital land. And this is gonna set you up for future marketing and future monetization. Now, when I say marketing and monetization, essentially what I mean is on your website, you're gonna have more control over the funnels that you build. You're gonna have more control over the contact or the customer experience when they're visiting your website. When I say building up your monetization, I really mean that you can start to put in, say for example, pixels. So. Maybe you wanna to start to run ads on Facebook or Instagram. Also, you can start to use Google AdWords if you wanna start targeting certain sections. So let's just say you're a wedding photographer in small town USA. Well, you can start setting up your Google AdWords account so that way when people go online and if they're Googling for your type of services, they'll be able to find you as opposed to them just searching on social media and hoping that they come across your work. Now, usually, they will be able to come across your work, but a lot of times you might have somebody who referenced them to you or whatever the case may be. So by being able to set up your marketing and control your own digital land, you have more control over the organic traffic that your website or your business might get. And when I say digital land, think of it as renting versus buying. When you're on Facebook, when you're on Instagram or any of those other type of social media platforms, you're just renting space. It goes by their rules. You gotta play their game. You gotta play their algorithms and all that other jazz. Now, don't get it twisted. Even if you're advertising, you're still gonna have to play the algorithm game, but you just have more control over it. When you have your own website, you're building on your own digital land. So you can do whatever you want. You could put in all the types of you know links. I know that some, you know, like say for example, Instagram, they only give you one link, but on your website, you can put on different types of links. You know, you can build up all types of funnels to bring people into your ecosystem and allow you to retarget and remarket to them later on down the future. So once you get to the step where you want to create a website, you're gonna to have to look for a website builder. If you're gonna do it yourself, unless you hire a web developer, or maybe you can go onto a service like Fiverr and find somebody who can build a website for you. There's a lot of great website builders out there like Squarespace, WordPress, Format. It all depends on your particular niche or your genre that you're in. I know website builders like Format are really designed towards photographers. So if you're a wedding photographer and you want people to be able to log in and 
be able to buy prints or whatever the case may be, they're gonna have an ecosystem built for that. If you want a place for people to come and check out your portfolio, maybe just leave some contact information, let them you know, tell you about their next project that they have coming up, a website like Squarespace or WordPress might be really good for that. But it's all gonna depend on your personal preferences and what it is that you're trying to do with your website. And once again, this is like I said, this is another way that you can monetize your website because if you want it to be so people can come on your website and buy prints, they can do that. And that's the great part about building on your own digital land because when it comes to social media, you won't be able to do anything like that. But what will happen is once you have your website up and running, your social media, instead of being your hub for where you point people to, to look at your work, is now gonna become an extension of your marketing. So it's just gonna be a way to let people know, like, hey, I'm out here, this is what I do, this is who I am, and if you wanna see more or learn more about me, my company, and my services, you can hop on over to my website and find out more there. Also, your website will allow you to monetize in ways like selling courses, selling digital products, whether that be presets or LUTs, you know, it really does open up a world to you where you can begin to monetize as opposed to social media where it's really focused on just marketing and getting your name out there and letting people know about your products and your services. Now, with all that being said, I'm gonna conclude by saying before you go ahead and buy your website, just shop around, look for different website builders, different website hosting plans, and you wanna decide on how involved you wanna be. Are you gonna be the one building and developing the website? Are you gonna hire somebody to do it for you? You know, these are all gonna depend on what you wanna do later on down the road. Now, you know, when you're just building your website, you don't have to have all the answers. But if you have a general idea of what you would like it to be or become in the future, then make sure that when you buy your website, you buy your hosting, that it's gonna fit that plan that you have, even if you don't have all the tools and resources necessary to put it into place right away. Now, I myself use Squarespace. It's just a good website where I can host my portfolio. It's really easy. The user experience is really nice. They have nice templates or whatever the case may be. And I just wanted to be able to drag, drop, put things into place so that way people have a place to come check out my work and they can tell me about any future projects that they have coming up and they can reach out to me and ask questions as well too. So back to the original question on whether or not you need a website when you're just starting out. The answer is, like I said, it depends, but if you're just starting out and you're not sure, go with social media, it's free. It gives you all the things that you're gonna need to bring clients into the door and have people have a place to go and check out your work. And then as you graduate, as you start bringing in some revenue, as you start to say, okay, this is what I wanna do, these are the clients that I wanna go after, and you wanna turn this into a legitimate full-time or legitimate side hustle, then at that point, go ahead and get the website because that's gonna cost you some money. Those aren't free. So that's it for me today, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful, and if so, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know where you're at right now on your creative journey, and for all my people out there who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live, this is your man, Jonathan Moore, and I'm signing out. Peace.